Mitt. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Secretary Perdue, thank you for joining us today. Um, I look forward to working with you as I represent the northwestern part of the state of Illinois. Um, I want to start with a quick question, I hope, and then go into something a little in, more in-depth, but to start with our, our aging locks and dam system. There's $37 billion in agriculture and food products that flow through the Illinois ports and waterways. Um, upgrading aging locks and dams on the upper Mississippi and Illinois rivers is a top priority for the growers that I represent in my region. Congress has authorized these upgrades, but the administration has to request the funding. And what, I, what I'd ask of you, if, if you can answer with a yes or no, that'd be appreciated, but uh, can we count on you to push this administration to invest in our water infrastructure? And specifically, will you push for 1,200-foot locks on the upper Mississippi and Illinois rivers in the President's uh, infrastructure plan? Yes, in the broad answer. Uh, specifically on a 1,200-foot uh, dam, we'll, we'll look at that and see. Uh, I, I was at the White House yesterday over an infrastructure meeting, and let me tell you that Inland Waterway is right at the top of their list over the contribution to the economy. We know how much important it is to the ag economy. Uh, you know I was on the banks of the Ohio River in Cincinnati the other day and, and saw some of those barge loading facilities. Uh, it's, a, it's a real... It's a huge advantage for U.S. economy and producers especially. We've got other parts in the world in South America that might can compete with us production-wise, but they don't have the infrastructure. That wonderful river network that runs through your state and all through the middle of our nation uh, is a vital resource for a world economy. So anything we can do, uh, I commit to being a, a serious advocate for American agriculture. The logistics part is part of that and the waterways are right at the front of that. Yeah, we, we have the legislation, and I think it's just a matter of authorizing the expenditure on that. And I would like to offer a, uh, an invitation to you to come see the locks and dam system along the Mississippi River. That's my, the entire western border of my district is the Mississippi, and the, you know, seeing the, the locks and dams that were built in the 1930s that uh, really need a lot of attention. But we'd love to have you come and visit us. So consider that an invitation. Uh, so uh, quickly, shifting gears, uh, yesterday the Joint Economic Committee released a report outlining many of the economic challenges in rural America. America, um, which I'd like to have entered into the record. But I'd also like to acknowledge uh, something that uh, Congresswoman Fudge said earlier, that I'm concerned about the, the Trump administration budget that calls for a 21 percent cut in USDA, um, including eliminating rural development's water infrastructure programs and the rural business and cooperative service. Just a, a big concern, and I think that can be echoed. You'll probably hear some other questions from my colleagues here. Um, but the reorganization also eliminates the rural development mission area entirely, as well as the Senate confirmed undersecretary, which you've addressed for a moment. But um, it's my understanding that you've already submitted the reorganization to Congress for the mandatory 30-day notification period. However, just today you sought public comment through a Federal Register notice on the proposal. Um, so wondering why the formal uh, reorganization plan to Congress, why that was uh, presented to Congress before seeking impact or feedback from the impacted stakeholders. Just your, your thought on kind of that order of that. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure I can answer that question specifically other than to, I've given my vision and we are progressing in the protocol, as I understand it, directed by our general counsel to implement this. I uh, visited with your chair and ranking member uh, here. Uh, the chair and ranking member of uh, Ag Appropriations to let them know of my plans uh, and to do that. So uh, just uh, uh, I may not be as uh, tuned to the uh, federal requirements of permission uh, as there, but all I know is my heartbeat is to make good and to do well and to make sure USDA continues to survive, to serve. Okay, I think your mic might have gone out for a second there. Um, all right. <laughs> we still want to hear you. Um, all right, well, I'm, I'm hoping that you will listen to that feedback that's, that's offered, and, um, and I'm sure you will. Um, the, the other thing is, will, will someone in your office take on the day-to-day -day management responsibilities of leading rural development um, with this new structure? You know, it's, it's a staff of 5,000. It's a, a loan portfolio of more than $225 billion. And for that to go straight up to you, the concern is just the attention that's going to be given 
to, no. to rural development. It's, it's a big concern. No, I, I can't handle all that myself. We're <laughs> going to have an assistant secretary uh, directly reporting to me that will be the go-to person. If you want to, you know, if it makes you feel better to call that person undersecretary, then, you know, enjoy that. But that person is going to have not only the responsibility of managing that portfolio, doing what we were doing that way, but also having direct access so we can move quickly and nimbly with a vision of uh, improving rural America. So uh, that 